smoking with the Migos. It's just me and me and Migos. Uh. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and this is, I believe, day four. I'm gonna have like these little numbers here, like, you know, Logan Paul, because I'm starting up a grind, you guys already know. So, basically, today's a fourth day, and I, I'm really, my, my energy is completely shot. We went out shopping for some clothes for Eid, if you guys don't know what that is, it's like a religious holiday. Uh, but anyways, we went to go do that, and uh, I had a lot of energy in the morning, and then it was all shot. All right, guys, so this is the fourth day. I noticed that one of them was like an install video, the other two were like, you know, what's gonna happen with the channel. I was gonna do it today because my energy's completely shot. I was gonna do some kind of like janky drive and tell you guys some more information that you probably don't care about. So basically what I'm gonna be doing, um, I'm gonna be doing a retrofit today and I'm really excited about this one because the sunshades, let me try to open up the door real quick. The SSC that I have sunshades, but they don't latch on to anything. They're just like, you know, they're, they're just doing its own thing. So. I want to be able to use those sunshades. I ordered the clips from BMW. They came and uh, they're roughly like $8 a clip, which is very expensive. I'll give you guys a part number. Um, like I'll show you guys a part number on the bag. It's a lot cheaper to just order off of eBay, but I didn't even know the part number. I didn't even know what to look up. I look up sunshade clips, but they weren't the right one. So I'll give you guys the part number. You can probably find mine online for a lot easier, cheaper. Um, for those of you guys who don't know, uh, you know, what you need to do a sunshade retrofit, all you need is a BMW, and uh, which is, you know, Prime, and then you need a door panel that has sunshades. I'm not talking about those stupid ones that you like have three suction cups or four suction cups. I'm talking like the real deal. Um, order the door panel that comes with these sunshades. You can just look them up on eBay. They're just door panels with sunshades. And then uh, some of them actually come with the, the clips over here and you can pull them over here. But I really don't care about that. I mainly care about this right here. So yeah, guys. Um, so all you need is a door panel with the sunshade and then you need clips. Clips to put right here. So these clips, they obviously need to go into somewhere. So we're gonna be retrofitting that. We're gonna be taking off the trim around the door. We're gonna be drilling some holes. We're gonna put the clip in there, twist it, then glue it to make sure it doesn't come out. And um, worst case, worst case, yeah, this is what I like about working about cars. You gotta calculate this trim piece right here. If you mess it up, it's not the end of the world. It costs you like, costs like maybe 15, 20 bucks. That's how much they cost. If you go to a junkyard, maybe five to $10. If you're not a junkyard, but like, you know, a recycling art for these cars. Um, very inexpensive, they're just trim pieces, so don't freak out, not the end of the world. You can drill into your OEM ones, or you can just order the ones online, drill holes into them, do it yourself, practice on them, and then you can replace it with the OEM one. But yeah guys, instead of talking, instead of rambling, I just wanna do the retrofit. Super excited about this, my energy is super low, I'm starving, and yeah, I got about two hours before I can break my fast, so let's see if we can get this done in two hours. All right guys, as you guys can see, apparently the, num the name of it is a side window sun blind hook. Yeah, so that's what's the name of it. That's the part number. You guys have all the information right there if you need the clips. Basically, it comes with two right there, um, or you can order a total of four. I think four would be a total of like $36, two for 17 or 18. So uh, not bad, but of course, if you can just type in this part number online, you can probably get them like probably a dollar each or something like that. All right, guys, so I'm just gonna go ahead and start taking this off. Take off this, you know, the door trim. We gotta take off this whole door panel right here uh, so we can get this, you know, window trim off. And the good thing about this, it doesn't require any glue. You can put it back on just like that, it just clips. You know what I just realized, something that I'm very, very, very smart about is that I didn't actually measure where I need to put the holes. So, uh, Learn from my mistakes and uh, make sure you take this off after you put your hole marks. All right guys, so I'm gonna push the door panel a little bit more toward the car because it is a little bit off right now. Um, so basically I just bring this up, I look at it. That's probably not gonna cut it. So I'm gonna take out my clips here. Oh, actually, that's not centered. You wanna make sure your clip is centered, by the way, guys. If the clip is centered, uh, it saves a lot more headaches. So if you're a little bit off this side, that side, it still works. So make sure it's centered. And I reckon that would be well. I don't know why I keep saying I reckon, but it's gonna work. So let's go ahead and try this other side now. It is really hot out here, and this medication is not helping because basically it just dries up my skin. So anyways, we got the holes um, you know, clearly marked on here. I can take off this janky door panel that I just put on the format that I, oh dear heavens. Oh hey no, oh my lord. All right, so door panel back off. I take this off, basically start one side, pull it out, just work your way around it. 
everything that, that if you just feel like something's not coming out, you just wiggle it. And it, look at this. Just keep wiggling. Oh, oh dear heavens. Keep wiggling. And bam, just comes straight on off like that. So we got our holes clearly marked down here. I'm gonna go over to my drill, start drilling some holes Sorry, and um I'm having trouble with the connection. Please try again in a moment. I wasn't even, I don't even need your connection right now. So once you hook up your drill guys, make sure you go with a smaller uh, drill bit. Don't use a really, really, really um, big one right off the bat. You know, you don't know the size of the hole that you need. So I recommend starting out small and then you get bigger and bigger and bigger. And what I normally do, what, I, what I'm gonna do, is that I'm gonna drill a hole that's big enough for this side. And then when I put it in there, I'll be able to twist it. And since this side is a little bit longer, it's gonna stay in there. And then I'm just gonna glue around it with super glue. And it should be in there sturdy. It shouldn't be able to move around. Um, you guys can always do, you know, the, the melting, the plastic trick. I'm not gonna be doing that in this video, but you can always melt the plastic to one another and just make it one piece. That is an option, uh, but I'm just gonna go ahead and glue it because that works. And uh, if I don't drill the hole too big, it should work perfectly. I mean, worst case scenario, if I don't drill, if I drill the hole big, I'm just gonna end up melting the plastic together. By the way, guys, make sure you stay tuned. The giveaway for these air scoops, I'm gonna be announcing the end of this video. Once you put it in there, you go ahead and twist it, then pull towards you. And you can see the hook is on there really good. So all I'm gonna do now is go ahead and glue it from this side. Glue it from right there all the way around. And once I glue it, this clip should be in there perfectly. It looks OEM. Um, and yeah, I mean, it looks great so far. I'm really happy with how it turned out. All right, guys, as you guys can see, both clips are in there. I don't know if you guys can see that both sides. But yeah, both clips are in there. I'm gonna go ahead and glue both sides. I'm actually gonna go ahead and glue this off camera so I don't mess it up. All right, guys, that part is drying up right now. All right, guys, that part is drying up. I'm really hoping it works, okay? Because I'm, uh, I'm out of energy. Oh my lord, I am starving. Is there super glue all over my watch? Bear back. All right, guys, clips are on there. We're gonna go ahead and put it back. And just like that, you guys, the sun shades go up. I noticed that I can't just pull it up like that. I have to go kind of like at an angle. I don't know if these are like the exact clips for this, but um, they tend to hold it just perfectly. So, hey, it works. Really excited about that. Let me go ahead and put the rest of the door together and show you guys when I'm done with the other side. All right, guys, so I'm gonna get the car uh, outside and show you guys the sun shades, how they, uh, how they work. Well, not how they work, but how good they're working. All right, guys, and 25 minutes later, that's how the sun shade looks. As you guys can see, blocks out quite a bit. Really happy about how that turned out. If you guys come around over here, also done on this side, just great. So even when you close the door, sun shades are up. It looks super clean, aren't you? I mean, honestly, it just looks cool from the outside as well. Um, so I'm really happy how that turned out. That's one retrofit done. Two more to go, according to my list, so you might add more. All right, I'm about to go up to my room and see who the giveaway winner was. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. I'll be back in a few seconds. All right, guys, so we are here in my room. I'm gonna see how many, what, who, not how many, but who exactly won this 12K air scoop giveaway? So this ended 19 hours ago. Let's go ahead and click on it. Uh, I don't know what all this extra messages is. All right, moment of truth right here. Draw the winner. Let's see who actually won this giveaway. All right, guys, I realized that when I click that draw button, um, it shows his name, address, uh, and um, what's it called? Email. So I'm gonna reach out to him. I don't want to disclose all this information to you guys, but I got the winner. His name is Rakib Akhtar. I, I should probably know how to pronounce this. I'm gonna have his name right here. Congratulations, bro. If you can reach out to me on Instagram or email me on my business email, which will be down below, uh, I'll be able to get back to you and ship you out this thing because it does give me where you're located, but not your exact address. So if you can you know, reach out to me, I'll, I'll let you know what kind of air scoops colors I have. You can choose anyone you want and um, yeah. So yeah. Congratulations, bro. Um, and yeah, can't wait to ship this out. So uh, just make sure you contact me down below. And if you guys are looking forward to any other giveaways for these air scoops, I'm gonna be doing a few other ones when I hit 13K, probably 14K and 15K. So make sure you guys subscribe if you guys are new and make sure you smash that like button if you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, remember to stay humble, Ramadan Mubarak, and take it easy, guys. She got me saying, Yalla, huh, baby. I need you to see me. Quit with the front and then put your guard down, girl. We know you ain't easy. She got me saying, Y'all love, baby. I 
need you to see me Quit with the front and then put your guard down Girl, we know you ain't easy, you know